Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another Gamedian tutorial. For this time, I'll be showing you how to export uh, characters or objects from World of Warcraft and turn them into GIFs or GIFs, depending on how you pronounce it, and use them directly into Gamedian. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to open up a program called World of Warcraft Model Viewer. This uh, little program allows you to export any animation or model from the game. Of course, you have to have the game installed as well. And once you have uh, have the game installed and this software installed, you just uh, start looking for models. So you open up the World of Warcraft Model Viewer. You, you have a list of all the models in game on the left hand side of the screen. All you gotta do is to find the chicken is just type in chicken. <coughs> <laughs> and I've chosen this model, Chicken M2. Um, for the ch uh, chicken skin, I'm going to choose the brown. I like the way this looks. So, what do you do? In order for you to export an isometric skin, you're going to need to have a number of angles. Uh, in my in my case, I'm going to make a uh, isometric skin for a chicken with eight angles. So I need to extract eight animations. I'm going to choose the um, walk animation and then for you to export this all you gotta do is you go to file gif sequence export and you give it a name I'm gonna give it chicken one period gif when this uh, pop-up appears you gotta make sure that you hit transparency so it doesn't have any background color and you just hit start then you go to your folder where you found where you've exported the chicken gif and you'll find it there uh, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta do the same thing for all the angles so uh, the angle we have is uh, this one this one this one this one and of course completely top left right and down you don't have to sort of uh, measure it by angle you can sort of do it by eye of course you can also use uh, angles if you're very mathematically inclined to make sure you get the exact thing out now uh, this is how you export the chicken Now, once you have all the walking animations that you need for the chicken, the next thing you need to do is you got to do the same thing for the stand animation. You need the, the skin needs to have an idle animation. So we're going to do the same thing for the stand. I'm going to export it again. GIF sequence export. I'm going to call it chicken stand one dot GIF. I'm going to make sure that the transparency is ticked and just leave everything else as it is. And just hit start. There we go. Now we've also we've all the. Uh, of course, we have to repeat the same uh, exporting for um, all the other angles for the stand animation. So we have a total of eight angles. But once we're done, we have to head to Gamillion to the editor. Now, once we've uh, finished exporting all of our skins, all of our models actually, all of our animations, we're gonna start making a new skin for the chicken. So, we're going to go to the skin editor in object mode in Chameleon and hit new skin. And I'm going to name it brown chicken. Now, automatically we're going to have to have an idle, we're going to have an idle stance. And uh, by default it's going to give it 16 angles. Since I want 8, I'll remove 2 pairs of 4. Once I've done that, I have eight angles. I'm going to start adding my GIF images for each respective angle <clears throat> to make the skin. And I'll use the guides on the right-hand side to tell me exactly which of the facings each animation should be. Now, 
and I'm going to start adding my angles and I'm going to do the same for both the walk and idle animation. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add an, a walk animation for the skin because by default, when you create a new skin, all, is, all it's going to have is the default idle animation. So I'm going to hit the plus sign over here, over skin stances. And I'm going to call the stance walk. And I'm going to have all my, my eight angles and I'm going to start uploading uh, the GIFs that I've exported for each angle. So first one is directly towards the left. <clears throat> this is a 45 degree angle, the next one. <clears throat> the next one is a 90 degree angle. I'm going to keep dragging and dropping the images, the GIFs, from the folder directly into its respective skin. And what's going to happen is Gamillion is going to break, up, break apart the GIFs and turn them into frames for the animation. And I'm going to keep adding skins. And that's it, I'm done. I've created my skin. I'm going to hit save. It's going to start saving all my images. Now that I've uh, created my new skin, I've uh, done the same thing for a few other models from World of Warcraft. And uh, I've created a small map with these objects, which I've given. This is like a chicken coo taken directly out of World of Warcraft. This is the same skin we've created. And I want to <clears throat> script the map so that when I start playing on it, the player will, be, will look like a chicken. So how do I do that? I go to this button over here, which is the instant scripting. I load the instant scripting interface up, and I go to an event called on add character. So this will affect changes when a, when a character, aka a player, enters the map. I'm going to select to the actions. I'm going to select uh, change skin. I'm going to connect affected character with character object. I'm going to double click skin name. And I'm going to just, uh, insert the name of the skin that I've just created. In my case, my case, it's a brown chicken. There we go. Now that that's done, I'm going to hit save. The behavior has been saved. I'm going to save the map. <clears throat> and I'm going to publish. Okay, so now that the publishing process is done, I can go ahead and click play over here. Now I'm going to select my character.
and uh, this is it this is uh, me as a chicken walking around in the models I've just created and basically this is how you export models from World of Warcraft using World of Warcraft model viewer and then use them in Gamelium. Thanks for watching.